okay so last time we left here uh, we made our index uh, listing of events so now in this video we'll uh, create new events okay so before doing that if you uh, look this line of code these line of code they uh, we'll be repeating these code on every methods because this is uh, creating new Google client and setting all the credentials and setting the scope and all the stuff so this is uh, generally the repetitive task so uh, let's refactor this okay so uh, what we're gonna do uh, we will create our constructor so let's create the constructor and now let's put all these code inside constructor so that it get instantiated or uh, formed every time when we call any of these methods so now uh, we need to modify the code a bit so now let's see so the, uh, let's put this inside the client variable okay like so so we need to create new variable product date client all right so we assign this this client variable to our this class variable okay all right so now uh, we need to make all of these client this client so i will select all of them okay if you look at uh, in inside this oauth we got uh, these code okay so let's remove them because we already included them in our constructor so we don't need this line and this same bit of code so I think it's much cleaner now so we, we need this uh, these two line of code specific for this OAuth because we have to set uh, redirect URI okay uh, okay so now let's mm, group this okay so uh, let's let me select update these variable so this will be no longer the client but this client okay let me select all of them okay so now let's change them to this okay to dance client okay so now uh, we have refactored our code let's test this okay now let's go to route localhost slash cal okay so it is asking for our permission when we allow that it should so yeah so it's working okay next uh, we'll uh, create our create events in our store because we don't uh, we don't need this create in API because this method is just for showing the form which we don't need here so we'll uh, go to store and behind the scenes I'll copy the code here and I'll explain Okay, before creating events uh, one quick fix so uh, previously we have uh, put our routes uh, these two routes for calendar and OAuth inside our web.php but this is uh, API so we have to put that inside api.php okay so uh, I've done that and I also I've given this route name so this resource route already got name okay so I have given this OAuth callback uh, also I have 
rather than just giving URL I've used the route name okay so that it will redirect to route name okay also I've changed it here okay so it will re uh, redirect to index page okay so that is the right way to do that okay okay now let's uh, jump back to our store so I have uh, uh, written code okay behind the scenes so what I am doing is uh, I am getting the start date from our form or whatever source we will get data from okay so uh, request start and end okay so this uh, we are getting those start date and end date here in these two variables and we are doing same thing checking if session got the access token okay so if that is the case we'll set the access token and we'll initialize our google calendar service and pass in the client which is fully uh, authorized okay so here okay so uh, next we are dealing with primary calendar so calendar id primary and here we will create a event so to create event we have to initialize new service google service calendar event okay so you need to use that okay so i'm using php storm so it lets me import automatically so here you can use like so use google service calendar events okay so uh yeah so inside this this uh this class accepts uh, the these uh, this array okay so in this array the summary is the title so uh, we'll store the title whatever we get from form uh, and description same ways okay so date time we are setting a start date time and end date time okay so reminder will be default which will be I think 30 minutes so after that we are inserting the events inside our this calendar calendar with this ID okay so in this case primary and we're inserting this event okay so if there is if result is successfully completed mm, so if that is not completed we'll give error with message something went wrong if uh, this passes we can we will give a success message with event created okay so if that is not the case we'll uh, redirect so we'll uh, redirect to same OAuth but here we'll use the route name okay so route so we uh, give that OAuth callback okay okay one more thing you need to start session in e store method also okay every time you need to start session also I've changed this start to start date and end date okay so with that modification uh, next what I what I have done is I've created a create event form inside my resources views and calendar okay so create events so this code is available on github you can look at there or you can uh, make form yourself okay so nothing fancy just uh, passing this to a store method okay and uh, title description we got and start date and end date okay okay so uh, with this view created uh, we need to return this view inside our create okay so calendar dot create events uh, now if we go to local slash api slash calendar slash create we should see the form okay so let's give it title okay uh, notebook new event okay dummy description okay so started and ended so google supports this format rfc 339 I, I guess okay so this kind of format uh, we can use date figure for that uh, we are just testing api for now uh, we can uh, embed the date figure 
uh, plugin jQuery plugin here okay so for now I'm not going to do that you can do that okay uh, let's give it time 2016 uh, this is number let's make it uh, okay let's leave that 20 so what this is doing is this is creating event on number 28 9 so 9 will be am so let's copy and paste that uh, and this time we're gonna create that at okay 11 so this minus 7 is offset from GMP okay so now if we hit submit so yeah success event created okay okay now let's chase that inside our Google Calendar okay so log in with uh, your Gmail account whatever you allowed there and now if we see here it created event new notebook new event so currently time zone is not configured it is using the time zone of server okay we, uh, we can do that when when we use uh, front-end client so we'll be uh, using that in this series uh, we'll be using full calendar okay so for now this is okay at least our store method is okay next we'll update event